uh, uh, Parvati and, and Mangalam, please um, introduce yourselves and tell us about your work and please tell us a story. Sure. Can you uh, spotlight both of us together? I, I, will, I will do that right now. Thank you. I'm Parvati. Okay, you're both spotlighted. Yeah. Namaste. Good morning, good evening. Hello. Today, my friend Parvati from Bangalore and I will be sharing a story in the form of a role play. This is a story which I heard from my grandfather many, many, many years before. And uh, it's a story which I cherish among the many stories which he told me. The story unfolds with the husband, Raja, and his wife, Rani, having a conversation after their morning walk in a park. So now let's see how the story unfolds. Raja, come fast. You are walking so slowly. You have any idea how much of work I have at home? I have to send the little one to school with all the lunchbox to be ready and for you and for and you know today morning that maid rang up and said she won't be coming. I have so much of work and you are taking a sweet time to come. Raja, we are coming, coming. Oh, so slowly. Ah. You have no idea. These husbands, no, they have no clue how much of work we have to do at home. Uh, why are you whining early in the morning? Listen, listen, listen. Before you say something, let me tell you one thing. When you go to office, go and book the, um, the cylinder. Cylinder got over. Or one cylinder is over. Please do that for me. Today, I have an important client meeting at the office and I have to leave early to office. I do not have time to go and stand by the gas agency and book the cylinder. Anyway, after I go to office, you are free the entire day. Why don't you go and do it? I am not going and doing it. Really? Really? You think I am sitting simply? Yes, you are. How could you say that? So much of work is there. What do you do after sending me and the little one to school? You just sit, you binge watch series, let us stretched and relaxed and you have a nice time till the time we come back home. I don't think I have to listen to all this what you are talking, okay? I better go now. Even I am not interested in having this conversation. It's getting late for me already. I better rush, otherwise I will get late for the client meeting. Oh, are you please. Or are you walking still? Bye bye. The next day. Ooh. Oh, it was such a, such a tough day yesterday. Ma, hello? Any idea you had? I crashed. I didn't even talk to you. I oh, I thought you were you. angry with me. That's why you wouldn't talk. No, I had so much of work. I was so tired. You know what? I told even you yesterday. I was the... tired yesterday. Did you just listen hear to me? me? Every time I say something, you have to say something. Listen to me first. You know what? You yesterday, yesterday I told you that the maid has not come and I have a lot of work, correct? 12 o'clock bell. Ha, tick tock, bell rings. And you know who? Ringing that, only. Oh, that old uncle and auntie, Padma auntie and that uh, uh, husband, the old people, they are coming. They say, Rani, Rani, uh, we have lunch here and then uh, we will uh, have coffee and then we will go. I need to cook again. So, big deal. Huh, you thought I can swiggy everything, no? Nah? Yeah, I know what you were all up and swiggy. That's all. It's very easy. Why are you complicating things and you are telling us if it's a big deal? Hello, come to office and deal with all the things which I have to deal. Then wait, you wait, wait. You know, they are old people. And you know what? They don't eat outside food. And what he said, uh, Rani, see, whatever is in the fridge, please don't give us. Make something 
fresh now and give it i have to say cook serve them and again the can the you recipe. please stop whining for some time you know what a big day i had at office yesterday the client came he was not happy the sales and marketing team don't even ask we have to do the entire work and that too we have to finish it as fast as possible so for the next 3 days i will not be coming home i will be staying up back late in office and you can enjoy at home i know night out right night out night enjoy. out you can buy party really yes. lots of cups of coffee biscuits everything will come and you will order that thing this thing because everything is free for you night out right big deal you think that you know you know yesterday what your little one did what your little one did my little one he is not our kid my little one hmm. he he came he comes from school and said mama mama tomorrow i have to summer for all the last day can you for once stop normally without whining i'm going bye bye i have to leave to office hey if you have to tell anything tell don't murmur under your breath hi little mama you did say i heard something even i heard something The tree is talking. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. The talking tree. What? Uh, it's, it's, it's saying something. Let's listen. Ah, uh. ah, uh, yes. Super. I never ever thought I will get such a wish. Hey, let me tell you once more what the tree said. Please. Please, uh -huh. I want to tell it with my knees. I want to just take it inside me. Uh, you know what the tree had told? That we can swap for souls. My soul, that is my Rani me, will get into you, and your soul will get into me. And I, uh, and I, when I get into yours, I will go to office and sit and ask for coffee, biscuits. Ha 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 ha. Yes. So the tree has said we can swap our souls. So that means Rani's soul will come into Raja, and Raja's soul will be inside Rani. So that Rani can experience all that Raja undergoes in office, and then Raja will be inside Rani to experience. And ha, huh, she thinks it is just drinking coffee in office. Once she comes to my place, she will understand what reality is in office. Come. Welcome to home. Be in the house. Take care of the house. Take care of everything. I'm going to enjoy. And you know what? When I come in the evening, I'll put my legs up and ask for coffee. Okay? <laughs> it's going to be real fun. The tree says it's minimum for one month, but I think this is the best offer I have ever got in life. Yeah, it can, lifetime, it can lifetime. be like this. Lifetime. Anyway, I I was always upset that I didn't study properly because of that. I didn't go for any work. Now I've got an opportunity to go to the office and find out what you people do. <laughs> I'm excited, super excited. I'll make pies of you. I'm going now. Come, come, come. Let's go. Let's go. Let's I'm go. going to order a cake to enjoy the oh, fun, fun. Bye, bye. After a few days of the soul swap. Oh, oh, hey, Rani, you are super woman, yeah. You are super woman. How do you manage? How do you manage so much of work? Rada. My God, I had to do that work, this work, and then I thought, okay, let me put my legs up. And little one comes and says, "Oh, I didn't like the not this tiffin you made. I had to make again." Oh, really? So many things you are doing. I never knew, Rani, you were doing. Are you Rani? That is all nothing. You are a superhero. You are a superman. That manager, you see, nuts. How do you manage him? And those teammate of yours, ah, <laughs> the clients. And you know, yesterday what happened? As I was sitting and uh, trying to figure out what was happening on the screen, the fellow from the bank called up and he said the monthly installment was pending and it was overdue and blah 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 blah. How do you manage all these, Raja? You. That's nothing. That's nothing compared to what you are doing, Rani. That's no, no, nothing no, no. compared to. Oh. Raja. 
and ah, oh, what happening? Is it that time of the month? Oh no, it's painting. You know, when you curl up on the bed, I always used to think, why are you making such a hue mm. and cry about this? Oh, it's really, really, oh, how do you manage? Yes, you've got your monthly period. Breathe, breathe, breathe. It will be okay. You'll be fine. <sighs> it, it, it will be only for one day, right? After all these days of marriage, you're asking it's for one day only. You'll be fine. Uh, just drink some water with ajwain in it and you will be fine. Come. I have to do all the work with all this. You are doing all this with all the work. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Do do now? I'm going. I'm getting used to it. Ah. Hello, let's go home. Follow me. Come, come, come. And after a month of the soul swap, <laughs> I'm just going to ask the uh, tree to give back our uh, our our uh, uh, souls. Yeah, no more do I want to be Rani and be I mean in, in the house. I'll take care of all. I I, I have I have. Me too. Me too. I don't want to be going to the office and dealing with that man. Listen, listen, Rani. I have something to tell you. Rani, Rani, listen, listen, listen to something. Else. I, 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 I will, I know how much of work you are doing. I've decided, it's not, it's not right to say decided. I am going to help you whenever I can. Share all the household work and everything. I'll, I'll never, ever, ever say anything that uh, your life is so simple. Okay. I'll never Raja, say. really? And, and wait, I will also cook one day. That allows me to talk. One day, I'll cook. You'll cook? Okay. Can I choose the day? Okay, that we'll see later. Now, Raja, Raja, promise. Tell me what all, uh, in what all ways I can also be of help to you. Uh, you know, uh, whatever little I know, definitely even I will uh, take up some responsibility and uh, uh, I will also help you. Uh, please, be Raja is super. Let's, let's rock it. Our please. life. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now let's first ask our tree. He's calling us. Yes, yes. One month we had a nice time. Not really, but okay, okay. Uh. Huh? Uh. My dear, did you hear what the tree just said? The tree said, he, it cannot swap our souls because you are pregnant. He says, it can swap our souls back after 10 months after the delivery. Careful, careful. Oh my God. Where are we coming? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. That was a wonderful uh, drama. <laughs> and uh, more familiar than we'd like for those of us who are married, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. I still am laughing, you know, from year to year. My smile is like wide and I'm all sounds I'm producing in the room all by myself. I'm sure people outside are thinking something is happening in this room and this woman has gone crazy. Oh, it was wonderful. Lovely expressions. And yeah, I would like to go for a walk Thank in the same forest and probably the tree also will give me some. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me the location. I will share the location, Poon, I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely. Enjoy it. Thank you, Poonam. Thank you. Thank you. It's interesting that the tree had that power. Is there anything like that in a traditional story uh, in Tamil Nadu or, or any place in India? Or did you just make it up? So the original version which my grandfather told me was that uh, he, uh, the wife and the husband were whining so much that God just granted them the wish. So we thought we would make it a tree because uh, 
there are uh, in certain places they believe that there are spirits living on trees so then uh, we thought why not uh, this the tree changes swap our souls hmm. Hello, Mangalam Parvati, Manisha here. Hi, Manisha. I loved, uh, you know, obviously, you know, both the acts, and I think the best part was the end, you know, when we really expected that it, the swap will happen. <laughs> it extended for 10 months. Oh, God, it was like more hilarious. It added fun. Thank you so much. Lovely. Thank you, Manisha. Thank you. Hi, uh, this is Sridevi. Actually, I would like to see the ending part, how the delivery happens and how the film. <laughs> <laughs> my grandfather didn't tell me that. We yeah. will find the next CSF part two. <laughs> so it was funny. It was very nice. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. No, when the theme was transformation, we thought what bigger transformation could happen more than this? <laughs> Uh, Mangalam Bham Parvati Shri here. I, earlier we had a similar theme of uh, a movie in uh, Tollywood uh, where all the men get transferred to women and this pregnant, oh. everything had come. The name oh. of the movie is Gambal Akadi Pamba. And I wasn't aware. Thank okay. you. But uh, yours and Parvati's uh, performances, the expressions, <laughs> You know, especially when Parvati I mean, was having the periods, you, oh my God, even every scene is so, so realistic and you both did it so beautifully. It is so, so endearing, both of you. Thank you. Thank you, Sri. Thank you. There's actually a similar uh, set of movies in Hollywood called Freaky Friday, but in that it's mother and daughter actually who exchange their souls. Uh, but uh, also in London, the performance was absolutely brilliant. Great acting. Loved your expressions, your energies. Really brilliant. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. It was true entertainment, Mangalam and Parvati. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. But my, my, my only question, you know, my logical mind was asking, just now she got her period. How did she become pregnant so quickly? This man must be extraordinary, this Raja. <laughs> she was already... <laughs> The three understood. Uh, uh, thank you, Renu. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Parvati and Mangalam. It uh, was really thank wonderful, you, and I, I know you put a lot of work into that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Mm -hmm. Thanks for this opportunity, Eric. Uh, of course. Love this space a lot. Great. Thank you.